The people of Ukraine should make the final decision, but we in the West must help them. Because let's face it, President Zelensky, to his credit, has spoken in favor of a neutrality solution a number of times. The only ones who have not spoken about that are the West, and Joe Biden in particular. President Zelensky cannot have this negotiation on his own with Putin. Uh, his country is under attack. It has been invaded. It is Joe Biden and Washington who are the only ones who have the capacity and the moral duty to sit down with Vladimir Putin, however much they may dislike him, and empower Zelensky to get his neutrality solution, the one he has repeatedly said he wants. So let's not hide behind the sovereignty or the theoretical right of Ukraine to be a member of NATO or some galactic empire when the country is under occupation. We need, we in the West need to pave the ground for a, a solution that will make Ukraine sovereign and give it sovereign rights that are actually current and, you know, implemented as opposed to theoretical. Do we really want Russian and NATO nuclear warheads to be stationed within kilometers of one another. That would be complete madness. It would not serve our interests in the West. It would not serve the interests of the Russians. It would certainly not inter serve the interests of the Ukrainians. So the idea of an Austria-like solution, remember, during the Cold War, Austria was a democratic country, a member of the West. Uh, it was a splendid country, a technologically advanced country, a free liberal country, but it was not in NATO. It was a neutral country. What would be the matter with such a solution for Ukraine? Actually, it would be quite, it wouldn't be a second best even. It would be a first best for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. It would be a first best for Russia. It would be a first best for NATO and the West. Why are we not discussing this? Instead of talking about hypersonic nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. uh, the European Union investing in more and more weaponry, what would they do? Let's say they had it today as we speak. What would they do? Use it? against a nuclear power like Russia, has madness reached such an apotheosis?